I spend a lifetime driving through the Kimberleys, avoiding bogs to get around them and get the job done. You guys go straight through them. This is what you call proper madness. You ready, Happy? This is what people do for fun, eh? It's crazy. Absolute crazy. <laughs> what did I bring my brand new truck here? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you just did that. Oh, that's how we do it. Right, let's go. Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are here, mate. We made it. Yeah. To the telly. You excited? Couple of Ks, I'm bloody excited. It's been a bloody long way to get here, but we're here. We're finally at the start of the old Telegraph track. This is gonna be a fun one. We've got one hell of a crew. Let's get stuck in. I don't know how far we're going tonight. I think maybe one crossing. So we're not exactly getting uh, too carried away, but we're starting, so. Let's go, this should be a hell of an adventure. Let's Strap in. in. Oh, look who it is. Car? I can't find my car. <laughs> it's a Nissan, mate. It's probably it's upside probably down somewhere, somewhere, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sammy's coming on this adventure as well, but we'll see. Let's go. Guys, well, we're on it. We're on the OTT. Something it doesn't really feel real, to be honest. No, buddy. All this time trying to, to get it in, now we're finally here. I've done it a couple of times, but it doesn't matter how many times you do it, you still get little butterflies in your stomach when you're starting. I thought that was just me. <laughs> no, I'm, mate. I'm, I've seeing, got especially them. Especially with seeing you that many rev heads around right now with the big four-wheel drives. This is not what I'm used to at all. Yeah, she's. Uh, they reckon the Palm Creek's a good one already. So. I feel like you're a dangerous mob to be around. The heart's going to be going from the get-go. Let me tell you. Make it to Palm Creek, Sammy. We just pulled up here, and it's I'm gonna say it's up there with gunshot, but there is no way around but through. Really, as bad as gunshots, a big call. It's proper gnarly. What's the chances of getting a trailer down there? <laughs> I don't know, I can tell you one thing for certain if you go down, you ain't coming back. Copy, we're <laughs> coming up now, we'll come for a look. <laughs> Well, we just rocked up to Palm Creek. It may as well be gunshot. It's uh, about the same height. One side's not too bad, but that means you're just going to end up on that right-hand bank, which you can see a couple people have, because you're not going down even. You go what, like this. So you end up on that bank. The boys are going for a look now. Sammy's going for a look, see if there's another way around. Uh, with the trailer, this one's pretty well not ideal. Not the smartest thing to do, so we'll see, see what the boys come up with, I reckon. This is class. This is this is what you call proper madness. You ready, Happy? This is what this is what people do for fun, eh? Hey? It's crazy, absolute crazy. <laughs> what did I bring my brand new truck here? Is my <laughs> Jesus. So this is what's in our way. I don't want to do that one. Last time we come up through here, I got bogged in this exact spot. Filled the whole back of the 76 up in that slot. Mud in there for ever. The boys look like they've done themselves a bit of mischief. Oh, shit. You're up, Evo. So, old mate's just driven down the creek here. He's gone on the chicken track and then down the creek. This is going to be a while to get old mate out anyway. The other exit's got a big tree and it's undrivable anyway. The tree's this big, so. Looks like we've got to get through here somehow. Holy sh. Dude, this is. Bloody crazy. hell, eh? <laughs> so, this is. The best option, option C. And I don't know how anyone is going to achieve that. Yeah, that's this is a proper tomorrow job, eh? We're out of light in like two hours, so 
We'll think about it, maybe do some track building tonight, busy B. Try again tomorrow. We've got so, a car stuck in the track, so we're gonna have to build up the other track. Yeah, we had a look at the um, option down here and it's you'd have to be cutting down green trees and all sorts of dribble, like which is not thing. ideal. Yeah. So we're gonna drive down the creek and then up the one on the left. Or we try and fill this one in a little bit and drive down the well, boots. Well, I think it's safe to do that one. Yeah. Got the water. Unless yeah. people start getting bogged in the creek. Yeah, they were stuffed. But it's a hell of a start, let me tell you. We spend a few hours this afternoon digging that other side out so that lift is not there. Otherwise, you won't get up it. And just uh, hopefully we get it done, take turns. We'll be camping here tonight. We're just going to do some track building, camp here, and drive it in the morning. Hopefully, no one drives it before us. That'll be the only problem. <laughs> it's easy, mate. Just drive it, all of it. Last time I was here, it was actually dry. <laughs> Goes to show a lot of difference. Was it two months? Two months makes yeah. wet to dry, so. Super soggy. Very wet. Time to get the shovel out. Uh -huh. You know how to use one? I've got one about this big. <laughs> so it's moments like these, you should always carry a good shovel. I'm carrying the world's, no, it's a great shovel, but it's not built for track building. Unfortunately, the bloody roof rack I got, can't put a shovel on it, so I don't have a decent shovel. So I'm gonna use the toy one and uh, there's gonna be some serious shoveling going on. Good start to the telly, mate. Yeah, absolutely. What a way to start Cape York. How long have you been bogged for? Oh, I haven't been bogged. The other mate Old was mate. bogged, but... A oh, couple of hours. Two hours, yeah. Living the dream. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah, yeah! You did good. Look at the situation you've left us. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely that time of the afternoon. Thank you, sir. Right, well, there's a plan of attack. I'm gonna try and get a couple through the Sabi, and then uh, the rest of us will come up tomorrow. Fingers crossed. If we can get two up today, we're making good grounds, we'll have a little system down pat by then, so we'll be good to go. In the meantime, us that is camping on that side, we're probably gonna have a couple of days. <laughs> Nights on the winch. Yeah, baby. Yeah, get a max track under this. I'll just go further back. Dig this out and get a max track. That should be going, dude. Did you agree with us, Oh, his tail shaft snapped. His tail shaft snapped. His tail shaft sticking in, that's what's causing it. It's snapped. Uh, pretty disheartening to be honest. Uh, because of the angle, the tail shaft ends up sitting on the hill, put so much load on the tail shaft that it actually clean snapped it. So look at it down there. So he's sitting there, and about, there were three in the bushes. Yeah, too. there's about three in the bush as well. So it makes you rethink. My the car's whole even idea, yeah. longer than this. Sam's got trans coolers and all yeah, sorts I got of fragile there. things under there. It's uh, not ideal to be pushing so much mud with your undercarriage like that. And I got a trailer on the back as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you gave it a red hot crack anyway, I tell you. Yeah, That's yeah. bloody disheartening. I don't know. We've got to make a call. Do we try and push through and break more cars? Yeah. One uh, car broken in the convoy ruins everything. So. I've got one, not two, mention, three. Another two months on the road. Yeah. We've got to get to Fink in yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. How was your first day on the telly track, Hippo? <laughs> Better than some people, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a hell of an afternoon, but uh, we made a few new friends. We had a red hot crack, and at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. A couple of cold Larrys around the campfire. What do you reckon, team? We'll have a go in the morning, hey? Yeah, right. <laughs> See you in the morning. All right. Guys, you want to win the ultimate rooftop tent and awning setup? We're currently giving it away on the online store so you guys can get out and enjoy the Explore Life. We got the Bush Company 270 XT Max awning along with the AX27, the big dog of the uh, Bush Company range. I've been running these products on my truck for the last year, year and a half. It is the ultimate setup for your full drive. All you got to do, grab out any item off the Explore Life store, hat, sticker, stubby cooler, shirt, whatever it is, every single item's an entry, guys. If you want to get in, get in this month. We pick the winner at the end of the month. Good luck. <laughs> Morning, big horse. Morning. How you feeling? 
Not too bad. <laughs> Buddy, cannot believe we got that final car up last night. I feel bad for that poor bastard. I know, oh. spewing. So he didn't want to do it, and then he saw these other two cars go up, and then he's like, oh, okay. And his missus was like, don't do it, don't do it. Nothing Snap. worse when the missus says, don't do it, don't do it. And you're like, no, I'll be right. And she's right. She was not happy. You've got to hate it when the missus is right. <laughs> so we drove up. Uh, we woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. We've had a coffee. We come down for a bit of a reassess. Let's go have a look. This is the one that old mate was stuck in yesterday. Um, it is a bottomless it is. pit of mud. It's actually... It's like just, it's that stuff that just sucks you down and it's not going to let you out. So it's actually, if you if you get if we get bogged near, we are pretty well stuffed. But what we're going to do is we're going to try and fill it as much as we can. I want to take a bit more of this right hand bank out because it's going to yeah. be a bucket load of cars trying to come through here. So if we take out more of this bank and, and we try and avoid dropping into that, that hole, hole even for a little here. bit, as long yeah. as the front sneaks past, um, take it out the middle. We're going to trim this all down. And then we're going to load this whole entire thing with max tracks. Trailer's going to be a bit of an issue, but hopefully we'll skull drag it through the mud. Let's get some shovels in. Let's get some shovels. All right, let's get started. The boys are up. We're into a... We're going to rebuild the whole of Palm Creek with logs on the bottom. Cover it in dirt. Fingers crossed. Log bridge coming in hot. Well, we've uh, done the best we can with that hill. Now we've got a steep drop in and all the way down this creek, which is really deep. That's a nice hole there. That's a big hole. What are you thinking, boys? Good to go? The current's with you, so it'll push you along. All right. Should wow. I turn the outboard on on the back of the truck? Well, I hope it helps, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it drops down there a bit more again, and there's a log you got to go around but um it is a nice that. little hole eh? that's gonna i was losing my mind eh? yeah that's pretty deep yeah bringing a trailer was uh an interesting decision of mine maybe should have given that a swerve but trying the reason we brought the trailer was to see how remote and how far we could get with a tinny so see how we go Righto, so we got the Max Track bag out. I've given Nav a tree trunk protector, which is the static line. He's got a core shackle there as well. He's going to be carrying a set of Max Tracks just in case I get stuck in the creek. Uh, and then I've already run my front winch out, um, and the winch is out, and then it'll be sat uh, on my lap so that if anything happens, straight out the window to Nav. Nav's going to have a tree trunk protector on, and we'll, we'll have to try and winch out while I'm fill them with water. Max tracks will be ready to go straight in underneath. Always pays to have all your recovery gear ready before you try a big challenge. That way you're not scrambling um, through the water. Why your car's filling up with water. Yeah. <laughs> I've let my tyres right down. Uh, so there's a nice good bag in the tyres all the way around. There's not a lot more we can do. We're, gonna drop that back a bit. We're just going to have a crack. Very nerve wracking just quietly. We've got everything we could do, but still it's your car's your baby. So it's always a bit of a stressful moment. We're just about to drop in. Try and take it nice and easy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Down the creek, steady momentum, not too much. It's about to start getting deeper. That was a nice little hole. Come on, baby. Big hole coming up. Big bow wave.
so deep. That was Amazing. so deep. That's epic. This is crazy. <laughs> yes, I dog. can't believe you just did that. <laughs> oh, that's how we do it. Good job, boss. Right, eh? That speed. Get through there, yeah. That'll get the money after that. Max track road, baby. Up the max tracks. Baby boy. Nervous, half down. Here we go. Nice and easy, bus. Go, big heavens. Low second. Six, we were up at six, we had a quick coffee and we've been yeah. digging since six. We managed to get uh, everyone through. Two cars last night, another two cars behind us today. Yeah. Just Cape York and the old Telegraph track is all about. Mate Chip, having a go, just uh, helping all your mates out and, and just having a bloody good time. And best of all, we got everyone up everyone. completely unscathed. Well, I reckon we moved two to three cubic tons of dirt this morning. <laughs> like, we dug out We some did some dirt serious shoveling. From serious dirt. Well, that's the first crossing on the telly you're joking are you that's the very first one so we got a few more to go but uh the next tough one will be uh gunshot let's get into it eh? little patriot, patriot. Yeah, we're it's... cruising through some real tight little sharp stuff I always wondered why they didn't make it the same width as a 79 or 200 series and that's why because it, it just being that little bit narrower and that short draw bar means wherever you turn it, it just follows Follow. the exact same wheel track which you big. need yeah. we towed bigger stuff and you got to push wide corners You've got to make sure you, you know, you, you, you don't cut any single corner. This thing just bloody follows. Exact same wheel tracks. I'm actually like proper frothing.
Birdie Creek. Maddie's just doing a little um a little recon up here just because it could be a campsite down this the other side or this side here. So the, he's on the north side now. Just gonna see if there's a little uh, campsite we can pull up. I'm sure he'll come back. Maybe he won't come back. I suppose I better go look for him, eh? Oh. Here you are. Can't find it. I was about to send out a search party. Can't find it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I'm dreaming. I remember staying here once before. I thought you could go to the camp further up on Birdie Creek, but can't seem to find it, so. It's overgrown. We'll just make room in here. This will be us. We've just pulled up at the uh, Birdie Creek. It's literally just there. We've got a nice little circle campsite. Everyone's set up. We're gonna have lunch and then that's it. We're gonna kick back for the afternoon and just enjoy it. A couple of cold tins, sit in the creek. Uh, this is sort of what the telly's all about rather than just moving flat out. So do a little walk around now. I haven't introduced everyone properly. So in the big GU, this boat doesn't need much introduction. Mr. Sammy no, Isles. But she does. And uh, the, Cody. the partner, Cody. Yep. Hi. New canopy looks good, brass. Yeah, first trip with this one, and um, it's going well. A bit more space, upright fridge, all the good Not stuff. Not the only bloke who cooks toasted sandwiches. Yeah, all got the, time. the toasty going on the inverter, <laughs> bloody mint. All right, let's keep it dancing. Get in. All right, in the big GU, uh, we got uh, Michael and Taylor. It's not a standard GU, eh, guys? No, no, she's a bit um, done up. So it's a full ground build. It's a um, 6.2 litre supercharged engine in this one. So. It's an absolute monster, just yeah. quietly. There's a full rig rundown over on Sammy Isle's channel if you want to go check it out. Yep. They go through the whole thing in detail. Um, she's a monster. How's yeah, the trip man. been so far? Yeah, good so far. Broke a um, trailing arm, yep. but uh, got a stick welder out, welded it all up, and we're here now, so yeah, it's been awesome. Happy days. Righto, uh, in the big hundy, we got Arka and Dave. What are you up to, mate? Mate, I've just happened to get some streak of luck and tag along with this trip. Yeah, first time on the telly, eh? First time on the telly and so far, no dramas. What about you, Dave? First <laughs> time on the telly? First, first time past Cairns, actually, so yeah. <laughs> doing great. I've obviously got to tag along. Perfect. <laughs> uh, there's something special about telly for the first time. You don't really forget that one, so. True virgin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Oh, well, we're about halfway. Plenty more to come. Last but not least, we got Darcy in the, uh, the big mitts, mate. How's she been going? Oh, she goes all right. Goes all right. <laughs> got, got a bit up, stuck. She's got little legs. Got up Palm Creek pretty good. Yeah, it's because she's light. Lightweight, winch. Something to be said for light trucks, so uh, that's for sure. But how's everything else been going? Yeah. Setup's going good? Yeah, pretty good. Just basic setup. It works. And this is not your first time on the telly? No, I came last year. It was a bunch of fun. It was yeah. Sick. It's been a really late wet at the Cape. Yeah. We're pretty lucky. So everything's flowing beautifully. And um, yeah, definitely more fun when there's more water. So we'll go grab a tin and sit in the creek, huh? Yeah. How good's this? This is like a big ass Eli Creek. Make sure you bring some floaties if you're gonna come here, because you can just sit up here and go all the way down. A little afternoon oh, snack, a mustard, Tommy sauce, and a little bit of Boravos. Not bad. Happy? Oh, uh, dinner time. We call these Birdie Creek pizzas. They're going to be delicious. Check it out. Crust is for duds if you like crust or something, will you? 
Pizza should be so far to the end that you don't know where the end is in the middle starts. Oh, so a handful and a half of just most about all of the ingredients. That's all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like three solid dobs and then a, a squizzle of uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> in the bloody base, you wouldn't read about that. Oh, stop us. That's actually gonna be really bloody good. <laughs> You're gonna let it cool down two minutes and then I'll give you the verdict. <laughs> it's so good. It's so hot. Damn, that's unreal. I thought you said you wanted Make it. Make sure. You try it, yourself a camp oven pizza. Amazing. The last time we had this was um, that waterfall on the Gibble Route. Bell Gorge? Yeah. Bell Gorge. First time, and it was the last time. Not because it was no good, it was actually good pizza. Well, we're going to get stuck into this. The crew are starting to get stuck into a few tins, and they're all cooking dinner. So um, we'll see bright and early in the morning because tomorrow and a half we got gunshot. Gunshot? I gunshot. That was a bad one. No, well, oh. it's not. <laughs> Sammy, you ready for gunshot tomorrow? Yep. Yep, you're driving it. No. <laughs> I'll watch you. Come back. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Go Sam, go.